It is his mind-blowing 28th time doing it, 22 and 18 overall. The immortal Matt Brown, absolute legend of the game, been in the UFC for an absolute minute and coming to this one against Diego Ligma, who's 15 and 8. We, uh, you might know him as uh, Douglas's little brother, and he has had some nice moments in the UFC. And he's coming into this one as a decent minus 170 favorite, but. The uh, experience is definitely with the Immortal in this one. So how do you see this fight going down? We, we know Lima's nine years younger. Uh, we know Matt Brown has been competitive in recent fights, but struggles to uh, get the win. So do you see this as another close but ultimate loss for Immortal Matt Brown? And does Diego Ligma get this done? What do you think? Yeah, no, this is a, a great fight. Uh, I feel bad for Matt. He's been coming up short his last few fights. Um, and man, if he does not secure a victory on this one, he might find his way to bare knuckle boxing pretty soon. Um, but with that being said, I, I got to go with Ligma on this. Um, I think him and his brother, they've really been training and, uh, that last loss, uh, definitely is rubbing in that salty wound of his. So he's going to get it done. I think they're trying to lay him up with Matt Brown. You know, he's a veteran. Uh, he is the immortal. So he's definitely a tough opponent, but he is no top five, top 10 killer, I would say. So this should be kind of almost a layup for Ligma to get his bearings back and hopefully get back on that winning uh, uh, momentum like he was previously. Um, and I, I think it's a fun fight, great fight. But yeah, I got to go with Tapology Community and uh, Ligma's going to gun via decision. Yeah, so Diego Ligma was on a nice three-fight win streak before running into, remember the name, Bilal Muhammad, who is just simply a meatlock special. And uh, so so no shame in losing uh, in dominant fashion to Bilal Muhammad. And those wins before that were, uh, was against Luke Jumeau and uh, Court McGee, and he knocked out Chad Lepre as well. So those split decision wins over Jumeau and McGee were pretty close, but uh, nonetheless, he managed to escape with those Ws. So it's definitely going to be a stiff test for Matt Brown. I mean, Matt Brown hasn't seen victory since 2019 when he was able to KO Ben Saunders, and then he did put out Diego Sanchez uh, earlier, a few years before that, in a fight previous. So he's had his recent struggles. He uh, had his moments against Miguel Baeza, but did lose that fight via TKO. And then that last fight versus Carlos Condit, again, it was competitive at moments, but ultimately a clear Carlos Condit win. So ultimately, this is a tough one for me to pick, but I'm actually going to side with the immortal Matt Brown in this one. Shout out to Lorna Shore. And I think that even though only 20% of the community is rolling with immortal, I just see his experience allowing him to peak one more time, allowing him to take out a guy like Diego Ligma, who they're going to have a pretty even skill set. And if it's just coming down to the heart, I'm going to roll with the immortal Matt Brown to grit something ugly out, maybe even a split decision. So I'm not definitely not uh, sprinkling all of my sauce on the immortal Matt Brown, but a little side sizzle for the homie immortal has to happen once in a while. So any last thoughts on this one, immortal versus Ligma? No, this is a. Uh, I'm super excited for this fight. Uh, great matchup, great test for both of them. Uh, is Mortal Matt Brown keeping his job? Is Ligma gonna get it done and get back on that winning streak? Uh, stay tuned and uh, check out other videos and uh, smash subscribe.